Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Moors. So, let's continue where we left off. I can actually get Carthage to declare war on Rome, even though Carthage hates me so much that they won't even accept an embassy, but they will declare war on Rome for me. So hey, that's great. We are definitely going to do that. They are only asking for a few gold per turn too. There. And that's done. Now I'm just going to wait a few turns and declare war on Rome myself. Taking Antwerp might actually be slightly problematic because of this river right here. We'll have to be in city bombardment range with one of the melee units for two turns. So with the pikemen, he has cover too. The knight obviously doesn't. Anyway, we'll convert Jerusalem and get a few more improvements. Send caravan. Actually, no, that was food to Cordoba. Let's keep doing that, yeah. There's the research element with Ethiopia. We'll get a new one right away. I might have to give him some gold. Yep, 43 gold. Take one gold per turn in return. And get the research element. Done. Next. We are also about to get a great scientist. I'm probably going to pop that scientist. Because that way I can prevent the next great prophet from spawning and save my faith for engineers and scientists instead. We might have to use the prophet twice to convert Jerusalem. Yeah, we'll have to use him twice. Okay, that's fine. I'll still convert it regardless. Alright, let's reposition a bit. The pikeman needs to be closer to the front. I'm a little bit worried that the pikeman isn't going to be strong enough. Even with cover too. It would be nice to upgrade him to a Lancer. What's this right here? That's a new unit from Renaissance era. That's not terrible. That's actually kind of nice. I like it. Can we get Metallurgy sometime soon? We actually can. It's probably worth it then. I could wait for a Lancer. Yeah, I think I'll wait for a Lancer. A pikeman just isn't strong enough, even with cover too. I don't want him to die, especially since I only have like two units, two melee units that is, the knight and the pikeman. And the pikeman is my only melee unit with cover. There's the scientist, and we'll convert Jerusalem. So just pop the scientist. Fingers crossed for coal. Do we have coal? No, we don't. At least not in our territory. Are you serious right now? Come on, where's coal? There's some coal over here. That's too far away. There's some coal in city stage territory. There's some coal near Vijayanagara. Our border will expand there in 20 turns. I could always annex the city and buy that tile. Oh, there's a lot of coal over here. Wow. Holy crap, that's 28 coal in range of Geneva. That's insane. Wow. I could grab some of it with a citadel. It's probably not worth it, but it's an option. Our border will actually expand there in three turns. Alright. So we'll have coal. It's not the end of the world. Alright. Let's move into position. We'll have to do some damage to Antwerp first, obviously. I don't think I'm actually going to use that trebuchet. Probably not, no. Our ranged units will do more than enough damage. Alright. Well, that's that. Not much else we can do on this turn. Next. Gunpowder is almost done. And we are about to finish an academy. That's more science. There's gunpowder. We need one turn to get metallurgy. And we'll get chemistry after. Sounds good. And astronomy or flintlock? What are these? That's a new Enlightenment era tech. Skirmisher. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade between a crossbowman and gatling gun. It's not an amazing unit, to be honest. And the line infantry. 
What exactly is that? That's MLA unit before rifleman. Oh yes, so a musket man will upgrade to that. Alright then. I guess we'll go for flintlock and gunsmith. 15% production when building gunpowder units. Alright. I think we'll go for that then. I definitely want chemistry. For a production boost. I don't care about the cannon all that much. But we could really use the production boost. Our production really isn't great. Also, I'm thinking about annexing Venice. Because Carthage is a coastal city. Which means we could use a few ships. And Venice is one of the few coastal cities I actually have. I could also annex Honolulu. Rome is also a coastal city. I'll annex either Venice or Honolulu. Honolulu would be safer. Because it might not be possible to go through here. Actually, I think this area will be blocked by ice. Honolulu then. I could just annex it right now. I don't see why not. Also, I will likely keep Antwerp instead of liberating it. It has spices, which is a luxury we don't actually have at the moment. So we shouldn't lose any happiness from annexing Antwerp. I'm not annexing Honolulu yet. We need more happiness than this. Yep, we do. Anyway. Oh, there's a frigate inside, so this is actually a coastal city. Now I'm definitely going to annex it. But that also means it's going to be even harder to take. Now there are two ranged units inside the city. We definitely have to wait. Wait, we already got the tech, so upgrade. I hope this is going to be enough. But with a Lancer, I can actually cross the river. And then take Antwerp. Without a Lancer, we would have to go here. These are all hills, so I would have to go here. Which would put us in bombardment range. Or I could go here and then cross the river from this tile. Anyway, Lancer will make it easier. I do hope cover 2 will be enough. I'm not 100% convinced about that. What's the next tech? Right here, yeah, that's obviously too far away. I really like these new units. Especially this one. The Lancer line really needed this. Like, seriously. The Lancers are actually more useful with this. Because they can upgrade to something that doesn't completely suck. Alright, well, we are not declaring war just yet. But I suppose we should do it on the next turn. Yeah, it will take a few turns to do enough damage to that city. We can get started on the next turn. Sounds good. And there's a Lancer to the east. Okay, next. We are also going to get a great artist in a few turns. There's chemistry that will help our production upgrade the trebuchet. And let's declare war. There is not much point waiting any longer. Oh yeah, we still have a peace treaty. Right, no problem. We lost our alliance with Jerusalem. We'll just give them 500. I want to keep that alliance. Even though it's not a super useful city-state type. But I want to keep them as an ally. In case we go to war with Carthage. Okay, I guess we have to wait a little bit longer. Flintlock is next. I should get more melee units. Also, let's chop that forest, I suppose. Or yeah, hook up the coal. We got that tile now. Looks good. Peace treaty expired. Declare war then. I really don't like that frigate inside the city. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure if the Lancer can survive that. He should be able to. But it might be close. In any case, let's declare war and start doing damage. This will take a little bit of time. 
we can't attack from this style. Oh yeah, this guy doesn't actually have plus one range. No, we can't do it like this, unfortunately. But we got some more targets over here. We are very close to plus one range. No, that's not what I had in mind. This guy. We can swap the units and still attack a little bit more. There's no huge rush. I need that frigate to move out of the city, preferably. Or at least that would be much safer for our Lancer. The Lancer can probably survive this still, but I'm not 100% convinced that he can. Not to mention this is an ocean tile or a coastal tile right here. So once I move across the river with the Lancer, if there's another frigate right here, it will be able to attack me too. Well, the frigate moved out. Embargo Polynesia, arts funding. I don't really care about embargo on Polynesia. Polynesia is not relevant in this game anymore. Let's vote against arts funding. I don't want that. Any more targets over here? Yep. Kill that guy. Is that enough for plus one range? Yes, it is. Nice one. So, keep doing damage. I would really like to get plus one range for this dude too. There we go, plus one range. Nice. And keep attacking. This will take at least a few more turns. Alright, I think we need to move closer with the Lancer now. Make it happen then. I'm not moving into city bombardment range yet. For obvious reasons. Does that. We can get more improvements. Venice doesn't have great production, but it actually has a few more hills in range. They just aren't inside our borders yet. You can go chop that forest. And you will improve the coal. I hope the Mongols won't declare war on me. Because that worker is kind of unprotected. Yeah, that makes me a little bit nervous. Let's go protect that worker just in case. Can we get Ethiopia to declare war on the Mongols? That would be great. That would keep them busy. Oh, they have a peace treaty. That's bad. Can we get the Mongols to attack Delhi? I mean, not Delhi, Gandhi. <laughs> I don't want them to attack Delhi. Oh yeah, they will actually do it. All right. I'll give them some gold per turn. That will keep them busy for a while. What? What did he want again? Oh, he wants open borders? And horses? Wait. He doesn't value horses. Declare war on Gandhi. Five gold per turn? Six? There we go. Six gold per turn. That's reasonable enough. Okay, next. I think we can annex Honolulu by now. Carthage captured a city-state down here. And we can propose the World's Fair. We could really use that policy from the World's Fair. And we should have enough production. Iron. No one is willing to buy that from the looks of it. Alright then. I will still protect the worker regardless. I don't want any nasty surprises. We can chop that forest on the hill. And let's keep doing damage. So, do we want to move in? There's a frigate inside the city again. I don't like that. Not one bit. I think I'm going to wait one more turn. I'm really hoping that frigate will move out of the city. I don't want it there. Plus one range. Let's have a look around. We'll help Carthage a bit. They probably don't need our help. Embargo failed and arts funding passed. I didn't really want arts funding, but oh well. We can always try to repeal it later. Okay, the frigate moved out of the city. That's good. Now we can move in. Plus one population. And another deal ended. 
marble. I should sell some of the luxuries, even if we can't get a decent deal. How much will he pay us? 3 gold per 10. Oh well, we'll go for it. It's not an amazing deal, but it's better than nothing. Oh yeah, we can actually sell our vote. Or not, never mind. Shop the forest. And that was the last farm. No, we can get one more farm down here. Alright. We'll chop that forest in advance. And let's take Antwerp. Yep, there's a ranged ship over there, but we should be fine. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. And the city is down to zero. Well, not strictly to zero right now, but it's low enough. We'll reduce it to zero on the next turn. Alright, next. And we are about to get a great artist. Yeah, the Lancer is more than fine. He's at 54 health. There's the great artist, I'll use him for a great work. This is only turn 284, definitely worth it. Chop the forest and we can get more lumber mills, I guess. Production, barracks, let's get an armory. I don't think I have a single city with an armory, which is kind of bad. Yeah, we should get an armory in our capital. As tempting as it is to build all these other things. Actually, I should build a windmill in here. We need so many buildings. A windmill is definitely worth it. Yep, sure. Anyway, Antwerp. I hope he won't be able to retake the city. Because otherwise we lose the Lancer. Only one way to find out. Well, let's do it. We are not at war with that city-state, are we? Good question, are we? No, we are not. Alright, do it. Oh, a civilian. Take it. I could liberate the city, but no. I'm keeping the city. We'll get a new luxury, it's a coastal city, and it's pretty important strategically. Create puppet, we are still in positive happiness. And we can do some damage to that Galias. Maybe even destroy it, that would be great. Cross the river. That river is so annoying. Okay, I can't attack with this dude. We can attack one more time. Alright, looks good. And Rome is our next target. We should be able to take Rome during this war. I don't see why not. There's clearly one city around here. Caravan. Adwa? What was this caravan exactly? Oh, Mumbai. That's fine. Doesn't really make a big difference. I still want to take Mumbai at some point because it has no turnam. Let's send it to Ethiopia. I don't plan going to war with Ethiopia anytime soon. I could move out of the city, but it's not quite safe that Galias would be able to attack me. Unless I go here, but I don't know what's to the east. He can't retake the city unless there's a melee ship inside the fog of war that I'm not seeing. But even if so, he can't do enough damage. Farm? Yeah, this is still in range. Okay, next. Silver. We can sell some silk, we got three copies. I don't think I'm going to sell anything I only got two copies of for just three gold per turn. It's not worth the risk. If one copy gets pillaged. Oh nice, extra growth in three different cities. Including Delhi, oh that's going to be amazing. Delhi will grow so fast like this. Yeah, we can keep working that production tile. So that our production won't totally suck in this city. Might even be better to work the marble instead. That's more gold. Nah, the iron is better. Alright. 
Oh, he actually attacked our cavalry. Whatever flaws he's bought. We took some coal with Antwerp, so that's actually really nice. And let's keep moving. Yeah, this river is so annoying. But we did it. Research. Oh yeah, I suppose we need industrialization. Actually, I think we're going to get one more profit. Three turns, yeah, we are going to get one more profit. Unless I buy an Inquisitor. That might be worth it. I am not really getting any hostile profits, but... An Inquisitor is not a terrible idea. Okay, let's buy an Inquisitor. I don't need that missionary. Not really, no. Just disband him. Anything else around here? Yep. Kill that guy. And... One more lumber mill. Done. Yes, I'm sure. We might be able to bribe Ethiopia to attack the Mongols now. I don't really mind Ethiopia capturing a city or two. They aren't that strong anyway. Ethiopia only has three cities. No, they won't do it. Okay. They will buy cotton though. Sure. We can get some extra gold like this. And they would buy silk. If I want to sell it. There. I think I'll keep my silk for now. Production. Can we get extra happiness? Not really, no. Market. Windmill. Let's build that windmill. There's the Inquisitor. I'll keep him in Cordoba for now. Well, it doesn't really matter all that much. How many turns for the next profit? Six turns. I might have to get one more Inquisitor. <laughs> Looks like it, yeah. If I don't want a prophet to spawn, then I need to get one more Inquisitor. Lumber mill. Don't get me wrong, Inquisitors are still going to be useful. This is a hill. Why can we not build a mine then? Oh, it's already done. It just didn't update. So. Get some experience. And we got a crossbowman. I don't think so, buddy. Cover one. And we should cross the river. First, let's maybe kill that guy. Oh, there's a city right there. All right. That's not a problem then. Yeah, there's no way they can do anything useful here. Mostly thanks to this mountain. Let's keep moving. Just need to be careful. When I don't know what exactly to expect. I could send the knight first. Well, first we have to cross that stupid river with all these units. Which is slightly annoying. Attack the worker for experience. I'm not in a huge rush. We can take our time. We got Antwerp. Oh, he's willing to pay us. Would he give us a city? Probably not. We can always ask. Neapolis? I don't think he would give us a city. I don't really want that city in the first place. I want Rome. Oh, he's coming. Oh yeah, this unit right here, that's an Enlightenment era mod, and it can be a little bit misleading, because it's called Ship of the Line, but that's not the English unique unit. That's a new unit in Enlightenment era. And there's actually a bug in Svilopedia. I'm going to show you. Let's see. It's probably just an oversight. Because this is a melee unit, but Game Info says it's a powerful Enlightenment era naval ranged unit. But it's not a ranged unit. It's a melee unit. It can capture cities. The English unique unit is obviously a ranged unit. But that's not what it is. This is just a new unit in Enlightenment era. A melee unit. Just something to keep in mind. It can be a little bit misleading the first time you play with Enlightenment Era mod. We kill the Polynesian spy. 
So that means we have to take that thing down. Because it can actually capture Antwerp. We can't let it do that. For obvious reasons. Easy enough. It's going down. Yeah, we have to move. Down you go. So... Move around a bit. We can start attacking a frigate. Like this. I'll just defend the city for a bit. I would prefer to avoid any nasty surprises. We can move the Lancer out of the city now. There's no real need to do that, but we can do that. Just to be safe. Alright, looks good. And what do we want to do here? Production first. Any happiness we can get? No. Let's build that windmill. It's going to be useful in the long run. Any improvements? I should buy some of these tiles. We need a mine over here. And there's the Inquisitor. I can move him to Granada. There is a great profit over here. He will stay in Granada. Any more targets to attack? Yep, there's a knight, but if I attack from here, I won't be able to move back. Let's move back. Next. Some production for our city. They are trying. Yeah, yeah, I forgive you. This is going quite well. We did drop into negative happiness, unfortunately. But that's not the end of the world. Did we lose an alliance with a city-state? Yeah, we did. I think we were getting wine from this city-state. Yep. My city. Kind of sucks that we had to waste 500, but whatever. It's ours. Kill that frigate, and then we can push towards Rome. And we got cover one. Nice. You will stay in Antwerp. And I'm going to make a cut here. Continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.